Hey guys, so today we're dealing with an exponent problem, and the way I like to deal with these types of problems is by turning the radical sign into a fraction. So in order to do that, um, the first term would be 3 to the 1 fourth power, and then we're multiplying that by 3 to the 1 fifth power. Now if you remember, when you have two numbers with um, the same base and a different exponent, what you're going to do is you're going to add the exponents. So first thing you need to do is get a common denominator, and that's going to be 20. So the first one is going to be 3 to the 5 over 20, and the second one is going to be 3 to the 4 over 20. Now when we add those, we're going to get 3 to the 9 over 20. And um, your answer is actually going to be rewritten so that it looks similar to the beginning. Um, by that I mean we're going to turn the fraction back into a radical. So this is actually equal to 3 to the 9th to the 1 over 20th power. Because when you think about it, when you multiply 9 and 1 over 20, you get 9 over 20. So these two steps are actually just equivalent. So from here, what we're going to do is we're just going to rewrite this again, and we're going to put the fraction here, or the denominator of the fraction here, and we're going to add a radical sign, and then we're going to get 3 to the 9th on the inside. And this is going to be your answer. So anyways, to recap, I find it easiest to get rid of the radical sign, deal with the fractions, and then revert back to the radical sign. There are other ways to do that, but this is just the way I recommend. Um, this is the most intuitive for me. So I hope that helps. I'm a math tutor. My email will be in the description. And if you're interested in any Skype sessions, please let me know. Thanks for watching.